Well, you kind of mentioned it and maybe you, you already said it. Um, but what intimidates you the most about adding another dentist, like about that whole process? Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's the leadership component that intimidates me the most and fear of failure, um, fear of that associateship not working out. You hear about, you know, it's kind of like the divorce rate, you know, it's like 60% or whatever of, of associateships fail. Hmm. And, you know, you want to find somebody that is going to, you know, lead your team similar to you, similar philosophies, similar skill. You want to have somebody that's going to treat your patients well, do a good job. So you're not having to redo work. Um, or make excuses for, for what they're doing. Um, you also, um, want somebody that's going to stick around and, you know, um, you know, an associate position, which is what I'm looking for would be a a dentist that's happy to work under me. And sometimes it's hard over time to, to have somebody working under you that is willing to do that long-term. So yeah, I'd say my biggest fear is, um, you know, just, keeping them happy, treating them well, um, but holding them to a high standard. And um, it's just going to be kind of a blown up version of what I'm already doing because I feel like they're going to carry a lot of weight uh, once they come in. So, yeah. Well, I know there's a lot there, but I also know that you can do it. Uh, Have no, no doubt that you can lead well. So I'm sure it's a, it's going to be a journey, but uh, no doubt in my mind that you can do it and do it well. 